scale Lolly from active environments, and Gail trains our keepers in protected contact. Basically, protected contact is a is a system for managing elephants that's based on positive reinforcement. We get them to do the things that we would like them to do in exchange for something that they like. Now, mostly we use um, their favorite food treats. The idea is we ask them or we shape different behaviors and then they get rewarded for those behaviors. We also use a whistle, a dog whistle, which tells them good. And they know when they hear that whistle, they've done the right thing, and then the reward's going to come. As well as targets, like this. Edible. <clears throat> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Edible targets. Bamboo, just paper inside with a little masking tape. And basically, this tool has replaced the bull hook. So instead of making them do something by threatening them with something negative, this target works by asking them to move towards it in exchange for something they like. So we first teach them to touch their forehead to it. Once they learn that idea, then we can actually have them touch a foot to it or their hip so they can come into position along the fence. What's important that uh, Gail does is the elephant does this if they choose to do it. If they don't choose, they walk away. And that's what Lulu just did with us. <laughs> but now she's back. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to work with her while she's here. When Lulu came to art, she was a frightened, nervous elephant who was really very disturbed and terrified of the other elephants. We couldn't get near her. When she first came, you couldn't get behind her. She would throw rocks, sticks, branches, poop, whatever she could find at you. And it's been three years and a slow progression, but she is now so calm. Oh my goodness, girl. She was doing really good with her left rear, but she didn't want to put her right back. That's why we got so excited when she did. It's called protective contact because there is a protective barrier or space of some kind between the elephant and the person. And we do that specifically because there is no social dominance, human social dominance, in protective contact. We're equal, and in fact, as Pat said, this is voluntary cooperation. So they can choose to cooperate, they can choose not to. Our job is to make it worth their while and do the best job we can so that they choose to cooperate, and they do most of the time. We work through a barrier of, of one kind or another to keep ourselves safe, so <clears throat> the animal can say no if they choose to, or express frustration and even anger, because this is protected contact. We still have physical contact with the elephant. They want that, we want that, we all need it. Because you take blood from the, um, the inside of their ear. So she has to put her ear out and then allow us to touch it and poke it and eventually actually um, use a needle on it. So we're very proud of Lulu. <laughs>